Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cine Fashions, where we talk all things media. So today I want to share with you guys all of the new items that I picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K in the month of May. More interestingly than that, though, at least to me, is the fact that I received a couple of unexpected Amazon packages on my porch today. I have deodorant coming, but this sure is not that. These are very thin, so I have no idea what these are. I don't think it's something that I ordered, but I'm not entirely sure, so I figured, you know what? They feel like they're movies. Let's open them up on camera. So we're gonna put that into this video as well. So let's not waste any more time at all. Let's dive right in to my new haul for the month of May. So I think I'll do the unboxing at the end of this video, but let's start with the DVD I picked up, and I grabbed this lone DVD from Big Lots. Now, I do have quite a few other items I grabbed from Big Lots, but those are going into a completely separate video, which you'll understand why when I do that. But one that I found is called Yesterday. Now, I saw this one in Neil's video. He was going through his whole DVD collection. He just wrapped it up now, but this was one that he talked about in there, and I guess this is a story of a world where the Beatles have been forgotten, and so our main character here starts taking advantage of that because he's the only one who remembers them and makes money off their song. So, sounds interesting. I have heard of this one prior to seeing it in his video, but he made it sound a little bit more interesting, I guess. So, that's why I decided to grab it, and you can see they're only four bucks, so why not? So, I'm interested to see if this one is any good. I, I love the Beatles. They were my dad's favorite band, so they're, you know, very sensitive sentimental to me in that regard. So looking forward to checking this one out. So the only DVD this month I grabbed new is from Big Lots. This is Yesterday. Moving over to the Blu-rays, I'll show these two together. I always like to show these a second time just in case you didn't see my first unboxing video, but these were sent over from Mill Creek Entertainment. Their first new release this month was Dead Wrong. And this is one I've unfortunately not gotten a chance to get around to it yet, but it is a crime thriller of sorts and it has uh, Rob Schneider in it. So yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be any good or not, but they did release this one this month and there is the back if you're interested what that looks like. So definitely check that out. And then the other one is a director spotlight. This is Castle Keep and Bobby Deerfield. So these are both Sidney Pollock movies and I've heard good things according to the comments on my video where I talked about these the first time. So yeah, again, just haven't gotten around to these this month. I have been watching quite a few things, but unfortunately these three movies here were not a part of that. But yeah, definitely got to check these out. So we have the director spotlight uh, for Sidney Pollock with Castle Keep and Bobby Deerfield, and then the newer film, Dead Wrong, and both of these were sent over by Mill Creek. All right, so onto some things you have not seen on Blu-ray now. This was a completely random purchase. I was watching, I think it, I think I was watching the Horror Punks channel, which is a, a new channel that I found, not, not new to YouTube, but new to me, uh, found him thanks to Miranda. She mentioned him in one of her videos, so I started watching his, and I've been binging through a bunch of them. Anyway, all that to say, he mentioned this movie, I think. This is Fog City. So this is done by the director of, I think it's called like, Kill Her Goats or something? I have it, let me find it, it's right behind me. I was right, it's Kill Her Goats. So this is the one that I have not watched, but I've heard kind of bad things about it, but I still wanted to check it out. It was really cheap, and I mean, for the cover art right there, I mean, it's worth it for the price alone, right? Uh, yeah, but this is Steve Walsh, and he also directed Fog City, which is why I wanted to check this one out. So uh, he actually really liked this one, the horror punk, and so I figured, you know what? This was like $7.99, brand new on Amazon. Why not give it a shot? It sounds right up my alley. Uh, these people end up uh, secluding themselves in a home after an orange fog kind of takes over the city. Yes, please. I, I love movies like that. So hopefully I will enjoy this one. Uh, he liked this one better than Kill Her Goats. That's that's the backside. Better than Kill Her Goats, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so hopefully I will you know enjoy both of them, but I guess we'll see. And I will link the horror punk down in the comments below. But anyway, I did grab Fog City on Blu-ray. So I think everything else in today's video is going to be brand new releases for the month of May. And most of these I talked about in my anticipated releases video. So 
Probably won't be much of a surprise, but first up here from the Warner Archive Collection, this one, I predicted that this one was going to be $19.99, but it actually came out at $14.99, so that made me happy. But we have Scooby-Doo double feature with Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, and then Return to Zombie Island. Now, I have seen the Zombie Island, but it has been so long that I don't really remember it at all. Return to Zombie Island, I have not seen. I actually upgraded from the DVD I had, and I've heard nothing good about that one, but it's Scooby-Doo. It can't be that terrible, so definitely interested to check both of these out. But yeah, really good price for this at $14.99 on day one. That's a good deal. I couldn't pass up. So yeah, very happy to add this Scooby-Doo double feature to the collection on Blu-ray. We have Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island and Return to Zombie Island. You know what? This one is not a brand new release. I talked about this one in my anticipated releases video a couple months ago. I didn't end up grabbing it in, I think it was April, because it ended up shooting up in price to somewhere around $30. Well, thank goodness I waited. This movie dropped down to 10 bucks on Amazon. We have Mean Guns from the MVD Rewind Collection. And this is, if I can find it there, there it is, spine number 59 in this collection. This movie sounded awesome. I'd never heard of it before doing that anticipated releases video for April, but it sounded really cool. Uh, basically, we have a bunch of, there's like 100 prisoners and some gang uh, leader or gang boss or something basically puts them all into a situation where they're trying to be the last one surviving and the last one surviving ends up winning money, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, yeah, $10 million in cash. So yeah, I mean, like, sounds super interesting to me. Very intrigued to check it out. For $10, absolute no-brainer. Check this one out on Amazon. It might still be cheap. I'm not sure. But yeah, I definitely had to grab this one. We have Mean Guns from the MVD Rewind Collection. Here's one of the more uh, wild card releases that I have no idea if I'm going to enjoy, but it's from the Kino Cult line, so you guys know if you've been watching, I'm trying to collect everything from Kino Cult. This is, I think, 7th? Yeah. Spine number seven down there. We have Teaser Rama. So this is Varieties and Booksum Beauties. So both of these are Betty Page movies, or she hosts them. I don't really know what's going on here, but it's gonna be weird. I have no idea. I talked about this, I think, in like two anticipated releases videos because it ended up uh, supposed to come out in March or April, but it ended up getting pushed back to May. So this one just came in recently, but yeah. I don't know, we'll see if it's any good or not. I have no clue if I'm gonna like this one, but it's Kino Cult, so I'm picking it up, at least at this point. Honestly, I need to start watching these to see if they're anything that's worthwhile or not. I might not enjoy them, so I might be wasting my time, but we'll see. Another one that did come with the slip, fortunately. So I have all of these with the slip cover so far. Hopefully that can uh, maintain, but we will see. So anyway, we have Betty Page with the Teaserama double feature. So here's one that did come out this month, but I didn't talk about it in my anticipated releases video. I I've made a, a point to myself to not upgrade any of the Vestron video titles that I already own on Blu-ray. Don't buy the steelbooks. Like, I don't need the steelbooks. They do look amazing, but I just don't need to spend another $20 on them. That's silly. So one that I didn't already own is an earlier Vestron title. This is uh, The Lair of the White Worm. So because I didn't own it already, of course I needed to grab this Steelbook edition. Hopefully they re-release all of these, and then I can go back and get some of the earlier numbers in that series that I don't already have. Now, unfortunately, these do not have spine numbers on them, which really stinks, but that's fine. I'll figure out what number it is eventually and put it in the right place in my Vestron video collection. But yeah, so because I didn't own it, I had to grab the steelbook and it is gorgeous as you guys can see there. I did already open it up and put it in my own sleeve. So unfortunately I didn't leave it out to show the inside, but yeah, you can definitely check unboxings for that. But yeah, anyway, this looks gorgeous. Had to add it to the collection. I really hope they go back and do more of these in the earlier numbers of this series because there are quite a few that I still need. I Ever since they did, what was it, Shivers and I think Little Monsters, right? Like that's where they started getting cheap at about 10 bucks, 12 bucks each. That's when I started buying all of them on release day. But before that, they were quite expensive and they still remain uh, relatively expensive. So I haven't bought those, but uh, I did have some, but not all. So I really want to fill in those gaps. I'm rambling now, the lair of the white worm. We'll move on to the next one. Here is probably still my favorite movie I've seen in theaters this year. This was an absolute amazing experience. We have Dune Part 2. 
I really enjoyed part one. I watched it about a week before going to see this one, which we did see on, I think it was opening night, at least opening couple weeks, if not opening night. Uh, but so because I hadn't seen the original, I had to watch it and I really enjoyed it. But Dune part two is 10 times what Dune part one is, in my opinion. This was an absolute blast. And watching this in the biggest theater that my local theater has was so worth it. We were a lot closer than we normally sit, and I loved it because it was just, it took up your whole field of vision, and it was rocking with the sound on this. When, uh, Paul is riding one of the sandworms, ah, oh, just amazing. Like, it is such an experience that I will not soon forget. The final battle in this is amazing. I, I love this film. I loved it so much that I actually have read the book now, the original book, and so I finished that one just less than a week ago now, and I really enjoyed it. Might be a hot take, but I actually like the movies better than the book. I liked the book, but it is, it's quite a bit different. The book goes through years of time that this doesn't quite do, or at least doesn't quite set it up in the same way, and I like the characterizations and the relationship building in the movies, more than I did in the books, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. I have not checked out this uh, 4K edition yet, but I'm sure it's going to be amazing. I can't wait to check it out. Dune Part 2 is wonderful. If you haven't seen it, you must, but obviously watch the first one before watching Part 2. So yeah, great movie. Happy to have it in the collection. I did go with the slipcover edition uh, because that's how I own the original, so I didn't go with the steelbook version, but yeah, Dune Part 2 is fantastic. Here's one that I actually spoiled in my May anticipated releases video because it came in on the day I was filming that. But we have High Noon, and this is the 4K release from Kino Lorber. So this is one that unfortunately I have not watched yet. It's still sealed, but I definitely need to correct that soon because this is a movie that I've heard amazing things about over the years. Uh, Heath over at Serial at Midnight just posted a review of this and was raving about it. So I definitely need to check this one out. It's just a quintessential Western that it's ridiculous I haven't seen, but frankly, you could say that about the vast majority of Western films because it's a genre I've not spent nearly enough time with. But yeah, very happy I was able to grab this one. Really good price for the a brand new 4K also. So yeah, I had to grab it. We have High Noon from Kino Lorber on 4K. This last one is actually a 4K steelbook and it's from Scream Factory. You probably know what it is, but it is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This is an upgrade for me, but I've actually already sold off the Blu-ray, so I was able to recoup some of this money that I spent on this. Not very much, but a little bit at least. And uh, yeah, so the reason I went with the Steelbook is because when I was buying it, I pre-ordered it, it was actually cheaper than the slipcover edition. So like, obviously I'm gonna go with this beautiful looking steelbook here. But yeah, I've heard really excellent things about this. Another one I cannot wait to revisit. I didn't love this the first time I saw it, to be honest with you. So I'm hoping I like it more this time through. Actually, I remember watching this years and years ago. I was much too young to be watching it, but we went to the video rental store with my grandma and she let me pick out some VHS tapes. And this was one of the ones I grabbed to watch at my uncle's house while we were visiting. And uh, I don't think we ended up watching the whole thing, but I remember watching it a little bit there. And then I watched it, of course, on the Blu-ray I owned. But yeah, didn't love it. So I'm hoping I like it more this time through. I couldn't pass up on the price though. So the last one today is Killer Clowns from Outer Space on 4K from Scream Factory. All right, so now the point of the video that I at least have been most excited about. Let's open these up and see what the heck they are. Chances are it's probably something I ordered and forgot about, but we will see. So give that one a quick open there. I apologize for the audio on that. That was probably terrible, but let's see what we have here. Okay, this is a gift because I see a gift receipt on it. Let's see what this is first. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. The Rocketeer, the 20th anniversary edition. That is fantastic. All right, who sent this over? Oh, it was Miranda. I should have guessed, Miranda. Thank you so much. You absolutely did not have to do this. That is awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. I've not seen this yet. And I, I do own the DVD I found at the thrift store or this replay somewhere, but I really wanted this one because the Blu-ray is supposed to be great of this. And it's a movie that probably would benefit from watching on Blu-ray. So very happy that you sent this. Thank you so much for that. That is awesome. So very cool. Now I have the Rocketeer in my collection and let's see what this next one is here. I'm guessing it's going to be for Miranda also. Let's see, what do we have here? 
Oh my gosh. That is crazy. She was, this has to be Miranda. I don't, I, I dropped the gift receipt, but this has to be Miranda. She literally just showed this in her recent haul video. And I said, like, I need to see what that is because it sounds right up my alley. This is called Lost Kitty Found. An independent journalist pieces together a series of cryptic messages hidden in plain sight around his town that point to a deadly ring involved in kidnapping, murder, and the distribution of snuff films. I mean, yes, please. Ah, oh, this is so fascinating. Take a look at the back there. Absolutely an indie horror film, which typically I enjoy. So yeah, very excited. Hello, friends. Tonight we have a very special surprise. Let me, let me see if I can find that gift receipt for this one. I swear I dropped it. Uh, I don't know. It's Obviously, it's from Miranda, though. Like I said, she just hauled this in her most recent video. So thank you so much. Like, this is... This is way too much. You definitely did not have to do this, but I very much appreciate that. I talked about her earlier just by happenstance. She's awesome. One of my uh, good friends here on YouTube. So thank you so much, Miranda. This really means a lot to me. I really do appreciate that. All right. So there it is, my May haul with two very special surprises. Again, thank you so much, Miranda. I really appreciate your friendship. Thank you for that. And I'll definitely link her channel and the Horror Punks channel down in the comments below. Check them out. They are both uh, awesome. I can't speak to Horror Punk as an individual, but Miranda's just an amazing person. So definitely check out their channels down below. But anyway, let me know down in the comments, what did you guys think of today's haul? Anything that was big last month that I completely missed out on? Let me know what your thoughts are on this and anything else down in the comments below. I appreciate every comment. So thank you guys so much for that. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. That engagement really does help me out. Thank you again to everyone for watching. Before you go, I'll just encourage you all to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time.